Hey Stampers, this is Stampy Mama from StampyMama.com, Eileen Judd, their Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm here to show you this. It's a new technique. It's called easel card technique. It's, it's fun and it's neat and it's very simple to do, but it'll make you look like you are an awesome, super advanced person when you try this out. Um, I did it using Gorgeous Grunge and Picture Perfect Stamp Set. And these are all in the current catalog right now. And these are featuring the new in colors Peekaboo Peach and Dapper Denim. I decided to make a starfish card because it's summer and I wanted to resemble the feet. So let's get started. Now, before I get started, I want to let you know that you can get the product details and dimensions at stampingmama.com or you can click the link down below. So this is Peekaboo Peach. And it's scored, and you can't maybe you can't see it at three inches, and then at five and a half inches. So I'll set that on the side. First, we will do the starfish. That's a two-step stamping with a photopolymer kit. It's really awesome. This is blue peach bean. Get the first one. It sticks, so you gotta be careful. Oh, before I forget, stamp off. We want to reading that. Stamp off. You know, I was just thinking. I did not bring my paper piercing pad over here. Oh, it shouldn't be a big deal. Stamp down. One, two, three. Now, for good measure, it sticks here. I just rub it. It's very light. That's okay. Peel that off and bring in the next layer. And I should have pointed out to you earlier that there's a notch to help you remember where you stamped before. Over the shadow. Bonnie is wonderful. Bonnie is wonderful. Bonnie is wonderful. Now I want to hear you smile. Not bad. Let's see if I can go back in. Catch that little guy. That's much better. It gives it some dimension. Let's see. I'll take that out. And we'll tear towards you. Not the way I did it. So you can get the uh, textured part on the top. About a, about a quarter of an inch off each side. Mm. 
decide which side you want to put your sentiment on. I like to rotate it a bit to see which side I want mine on. And I'm going to add You're the Nicest sentiment. Make sure you ink it up really good. I'm using Memento ink for this because it washes off photo polymer pretty well. Unlike the, the permanent stamp sets, the inks, well, the permanent inks, but I don't, I don't mind staining my photo polymer. Some people do. I don't know why. I'm gonna set this aside. Stamping our sentiment. So I'm gonna take the inside of the stamp. I'm in the card. Welcome to my brain today. And stamp. You are made of wonderful. Try and center it in the middle. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I just want to get all my stamping done first so then I can assemble it. I'm taking the Gorgeous grunge stamp set in the peekaboo peach ink and just stamping all over. And the reason why I'm doing this is to get, you know, the sea salt water effect. As if it splashed the card with it. that and the orange does pop up in it I don't know if you can tell but the orange tint does pop in it, in it. and also you know just one of those things where you can save on using so many ink pads it's just one of those projects it's okay so many projects you use a lot of ink pads some you can do a little less and still look awesome so whatever works for you I want to show you this before I started. This is the new Big Shot platform. It has the, thigh, the thin die adapter, and this is the platform. We'll only use this section, the bottom of the platform, for embossing folders. So, no need for that. And this new platform, there's an even pressure all along the pad instead of just in the middle part which is nice and then where did I put it? Oh. I grab another piece of peekaboo peach and I'm going to sandwich it in between all that and I like to put the uh, bended side in the towards the um, the entrance of the big shot so it doesn't warp and big shots on paper like this I should have moved my paper it likes to move on top of wood for some reason don't ask me. otherwise it usually stays still so yeah hold it down Nice, clear wood thing. So nice the beach. So what we're going to do? I'm gonna bring this back in and just make sure I get the right side. I'm going to glue the. inside first Try to center it With the glue makes it easy to move if you prefer snail adhesive go for it Careful 
careful not to get glue on your fingers, though. Okay. Stamping up dimensionals. Yeah. It, I try every bit to save. Um, if you haven't heard me say this before, even with layers, you see people doing layers, you're like, Oh my goodness, Harley! How could I... They're, why are they wasting that, you know? And it's not necessarily that they're wasting it. <laughs> they're just probably showing you the full thing on screen. Um, for me, I like to punch out the middle of things if I can, um, just to get shapes out, or cut a uh, craft knife, just do whatever you need to do to you save that much paper. If you're really worried about saving paper, then, then you can um, worry about it then. But it's, it's really not that big of a deal if you make a lot of cards, but if you are on a budget, that's one of the ways you can save on layers, is by punching up middles or cutting up middles of the layers, and you still get that nice effect without wasting paper. So I adhere this with, with Stampin' Up dimensionals, dimensionals down here at the bottom, centered. You fold this, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to only put glue on glue on this section of the card. But wait, I almost forgot. This is a vintage um, uh, ribbon. It's retired. Uh, stamp it up. I don't know when Stamp It retired it. Stamp It retired a long time ago. But there's there's another version of this on in the catalog. So but go back to like page 178, 179, and um, check that out. Or I, if you want to do a card like this, I would suggest. Um, there's some vintage twine in the back of that catalog, and that would work just as well. I decided to use this because I've been hoarding my ribbon. <laughs> I love stamping up ribbon so much that I have a hard time using it. I'm like you. So I'm challenging myself to use a ribbon because if it just sits there, it never gets used. Now I can glue this section on. Line it up. It's not crooked. Now I'm going to take this blue dapper denim blue layer, center it up here, and then we're going to add stamp elementals to the back of this. Place it down, you center it. And voila! Uh, if you'd like to know more, please head over to stampingmama.com and the details will be there, or there'll be a link below. You can search uh, starfish or uh, picture perfect in the upper right hand corner. Um, the search bar and you'll be able to find it there too. If you like catalog, uh, click catalogs and then go to the um, click request catalog and fill out the form below. I'll have to send you out of the catalog right away. If you have any questions please let me know. If you have any comments um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. 
Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.